so hello everyone a very good evening dear ones and uh, before i just proceed ahead of this particular session just give me a green signal that am i audible or visible to you or not hello preetam hi vishal good evening dear ones i believe that all of you are in your good health and i welcome you all to this particular session wherein me your rakhi ma'am is going to talk about the top 12 most expected question okay of metallurgy chapter i mean to say of the chapter which is in your ncert notebook that is journal principles and processes of isolations of elements and i believe that you have actually revised this particular chapter and we will be actually solving each and every question in a very very quick manner isn't it swastika yes good evening swastika hi vishal okay fine so you have given me a green signal and let us actually proceed with our session today okay fine see this particular chapter i'll say it's a very easy chapter uh one question do come certainly from this particular chapter and it's very very easy straight forward question okay direct from ncert so i'll just say that do not miss this particular chapter okay okay fine hi akash good evening hello ram good evening hi priyanshu good evening welcome to the class okay dear ones so let's move ahead and let's start our session i'm really actually i'm good and i believe that all of you are also in your best health moving ahead and obviously if you actually find that this particular session is really awesome wonderful enchanting then go ahead and hit the like button yes swastika absolutely fine this particular chapter is purely memory based yes of course hi chandan kumar good evening well dear ones for the further notifications of the classes on this particular platform i will just request you to subscribe this particular channel and yes share this particular session among your peer groups hi kartik good evening welcome to the class ya vishal i am actually going to proceed but before that let me actually talk to you regarding a few important thing and that is that is your j preparation becoming overwhelming to say yes or no and if that's the particular thing then i'll ask you do you actually need an expert guidance on how you should actually learn and practice do you really need your personalized guidance yes always and everyone needs the personal guidance since we are preparing for j examination yes moreover if you are actually losing the track of your progress okay and the areas of improvement with such a huge slavers then what you need to do it's actually really very very concerning so we over here are actually introducing the akash byjus okay i'll just say akash app for j examinations okay we are actually introducing the akash app for j examination your one stop solution for the exam preparation journey fine and this particular app it comes with plenty of unique features what are those features if i just talk about for example if i just say that that this particular app it actually really helps you to achieve what to achieve your mastery over every concept fine every concept with creative animated videos so i'll just say that the link of the particular app has been given in the description box go ahead and explore the app my dear ones moreover if i just talk about the animated videos over here these videos they are going to help you visualize and understand the tricky concepts so just don't miss this particular thing go ahead with this particular thing okay yes so shall we move ahead ya chandan kumar classes yahan daily hoti hai and let's actually now move ahead and let's talk about something well one more thing i want to say about this particular app that this is free for 14 days so don't miss this particular chance okay it is going to boost up your preparations you won't regret this okay so let's move ahead and let's talk about uh, our session today moving ahead and here is the very first question here is the very first question of the session in front of you let's begin our session now let's begin our session now 
good to go so fasten up your seat belts and i just want the quick answers from you guys okay you are gonna bombard the comment box with your answers in a very quicker manner because this particular chapter till now you must have revised you should have revised isn't it yes ma'am of course so let's go ahead and let's talk about the very first question in front of you and the question is the major components in a gun metal are the major components in the gun metal are fine just let me know the major components in the gun metal are can you know can you just tell me the answer come on swastika tushar hanish priyanshu vishal sanjay chandan whosoever is actually watching this particular session okay so swastika says that ma'am it's option number d swastika you are saying only copper for sure but i just want the major components present in gun metal major components well i'm actually getting the answers all sorts of the answers i'm going to get i am actually getting the all sorts of all sorts of the answers uh option number d okay option number b option number a option number c each and every one of you are actually giving me a b c and d answers so what will be the right answer of this particular question then okay just let me know fine will it be vishal b swastika says d vijay narayan says b okay hold on hold on if i just talk about gun metal okay it is also known to be as what red brass a type of bronze fine alloy of copper tin and zinc copper tin and zinc vishal is absolutely right vijay is absolutely right tarun is absolutely right so gun metal do have a composition of copper and it actually goes around 88% 88% fine well if i just talk about zinc okay the composition of the zinc it's actually varies from 2 to 4% 2 to 4% talking about tin it varies about 8 to 10% fine so the major components in the gun metal it's basically copper zinc and tin brass always have copper absolutely right swastika so major portion is of copper which you said initially but for this particular question we want the major components in gun metal which are copper tin and zinc okay well let me tell you one thing that this gun metal is resistant to what it's actually resistant to corrosion it's actually resistant to corrosion that is caused by steam and salty water fine and moreover this particular gun metal is used in making guns absolutely right fine have no idea so over here let's move ahead and hope that all of you have given me the right answer for this particular question anything else i don't think i need to tell for this particular question well let me tell you one more thing about gun metals that they can withstand the atmospheric steam they can actually this particular gun metal it can withstand the atmospheric steam okay and salty water fine salty water corrosion so it is actually highly suitable for making the pump parts fine valve or and you can also say uh, talk about the steam fittings also i think i have told you much enough for this particular question option number b is the right answer moving ahead and let's talk about the second question in front of you okay which of the following ore is concentrated using group 1 cyanide salt question ko dhyan se padhiyega just read this particular question carefully tukka mat maar dena okay <laughs> okay fine so over here which of the following ore is concentrated using group 1 cyanide salt and you all are actually seeing me uh it's option number a is fluorite okay yes swastika you can actually talk about the same for the gun metal since i told you that it can actually withstand the atmospheric steam and salt water corrosion it is highly suitable for making the pump parts find the valve and the steam fittings moreover it is also used for making the what should i say the glass and the bearings find that are subjected to heavy loads and low speeds fine so 
ओके फाइन मनीष आई गॉट योर आंसर सो वॉट्स दी आंसर यू हैव गिवन टू मी इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर ए ऑल ऑफ यू आर एक्चुअली सेइंग स्फ्लेराइड ओके दिस स्फ्लेराइड और इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट इट्स फॉर्मूला इट इज जेड एन एस टॉकिंग अबाउट मेलेकाइट ओके सो वॉट्स द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मेलेकाइट इट्स मेलेकाइट ग्रीन ओके सो इट्स सी यू ओ एच होल ट्वाइस डॉट सी यू सी ओ थ्री What's the formula of siderite then? It's F E C O three and calamine. It's zinc carbonate Z N C O three. So we want an ore. Which of the following ore is concentrated using group one cyanide salt? So over here, group one cyanide salt. If I just talk about it, is N A C N. We over here are talking about. This NaCN, okay, it's basically used as it's actually been used as depressant. Now, what do you mean by depressant? Depressant decreases the tendency of one ore to attach with the froth by combining with the ore. Okay, see if we do have two sulfidos, PBS and ZNS. So how we are going to separate them? We are going to separate them by just addition of the depressant. What's the role of depressant? Now the role of depressant is to separate the two sulfidos by selectively preventing one ore from forming the fourth. So what does this NaCN does? If I do have ZNS and PBS, both of these ores, okay. So this NaS, it actually, NaCN, this NaCN, it is going to react with zns okay and we are going to form water soluble complex which looks like it's na2 zn cn4 basically fine so it's not going to attach with the froth now pbs the lead sulfide can be separated by simple froth flotation process i think you got my point why we are actually talking about nacn that has been used as a depressant it's okay ankit vishal akash ayush Shivam, Swastika, everyone who so ever is actually watching this particular session, are you actually getting the point? So it's option number A is fluorite. Okay, this particular ore is actually concentrated using group one cyanide salt. Good to go. Good to go. Just let me know, dear ones. Yes, Ankit. Okay, fine. Chaliye, let's talk about the third question here in front of you. Hello, Sachin Kumar. Namaste. Good evening. And here we are on question number three. Here we are on which particular question? Question number three. Read the question. Read this particular question and let me know the answer of this particular question. Kartik says it's option number C. Well, let me actually read the question for you. The process that involves the process that involves the removal of sulfur from the ores. Removal of sulfur we are talking about from the ore. So removal of sulfur from ore is done by is done by roasting. Is done by roasting. Absolutely right. So it's option number C, the right answer. Well, in roasting, what happens? The ore is actually heated in a regular supply of air in the furnace at a temperature below the melting point of the metal fine so if i just talk about uh, a reaction involving sulfide ore so it's basically to, if i just talk about zns okay and it's oxygen so this this particular ore has been heated in regular self supply of oxygen or you can say air and we are actually going to get this zinc oxide plus this sulfur dioxide isn't it okay so if i just talk about the sulfide ores um uh, yes of course the process that involves the removal of sulfur from the ores is known to be as roasting yes for carbonates it happens in absence of air absolutely fine absolutely fine bilkul sahi baat keh rahe hain so i believe there is uh, no doubt for this particular question is there any doubt for this question just let me know everything fine everything is fine just let me know yes for carbonates the process is known to be as calcination it's a, it's it's a particular concept you actually study in your 10th class yes of course so good to go shall i move ahead yes mr hyper gaming no doubt fine okay fine so smelting refining and leaching they are out of our way and it's only roasting which is the right answer moving ahead and let's talk about question number 4 now the chemical that is added to reduce the melting point of the reaction mixture during the extraction of aluminum 
okay so during the extraction of aluminium which particular chemical is added to reduce the melting point of the re reaction mixture okay just let me know okay so akash has actually absolutely said the formula and swastika has said the name cryolite which is na3alf6 absolutely right it's the cryolite which we actually add to reduce the melting point of the reaction during the extraction of aluminium see what happens in the metallurgy of aluminium the metal is actually metal is too what we are actually talking about the metal is to be isolated from box uh, from alumina from alumina al2o3 by carrying out its electrolytic reduction that is what we do yes so the melting point of alumina is very high it's up approximately near about 2000 and more than that kelvin so it is therefore mixed with cryolite na3alf6 which lowers down its melting point to uh, approximately around 1100 Kelvin or more than that fine that's absolutely right so what I want to say that moreover this cryolite it also increases the electrical conductivity of alumina yes Karthik absolutely right Mere bolne se pehle hi aapne jawab de diya. to be very approximate hypergaming if I just talk about the melting point of the alumina it's basically 2323 Kelvin okay so when we add this cryolite what happens the uh, temperature lowers down to 1173 Kelvin 1173 Kelvin absolutely right okay done 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 so the if I just talk about the electrolysis of pure alumina it basically faces some difficulties see pure alumina is basically a bad conductor of electricity fine the fusion temperature of pure alumina is about as I told you 2 3 uh, 2 3 Kelvin okay and this temperature if I just talk about when and when at this particular temperature electrolysis is carried out electrolysis is carried out on uh, so what happens uh, the fused mass when the electrolysis has been carried out on the fused mass the metal vaporizes okay if I just talk about the metal formed vaporizes as boiling point of aluminium is 1800 okay <laughs> Yes, so that it actually faces some problem because boiling point if we look at alumina, it's 1800 degrees Celsius. So, these difficulties basically are overcome by using a mixture containing what if we are having alumina, Al2O3, cryolite as you all said, Na3ALF6, yes. And also we add one more thing. It's fluorosphar. We actually also add fluorosphar. Fluorosphar. This is what we actually add. CAF2. This is what we are actually going to add. Why we actually add it? Why? Because in order to decrease the viscosity of electrolyte. Okay. Why we are adding a uh, cryolite NA? Na3ALF6 to decrease the melting point of the alumina and hence increase the conductivity also. That's absolutely fine. Yes, ma'am, that's absolutely fine. So for cryolite, it's Na3ALF6. I have actually told you everything regarding why we are actually going to add Na3ALF6. Also, why we are going to add fluorosphar CAF2. The things I have told you. Dun, 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 dun. So, calamine, kaolite and bauxite, they are actually out of the rates. It's only option number A, the right answer for the question asked. Fine. Chaliam, let's move ahead and let's talk about the next question. And the question is in front of you guys. Hanji Bitai. Manish, it will be done. Need not to worry. We are on question number 5. The metal that can be. Viscosity decreases increases liquidity absolutely right swastika because the boiling point jo hai, alumina ka, it's 1800 degrees celsius hai na? so what basically happens the fusion temperature of pure alumina hume pata it's about 2000 degrees celsius and this temperature when electrolysis is carried out on at the fused mass the metal formed what wave uh, vapors as boiling point of alumina is 1800 degrees celsius fine yes so these were the difficulties and to overcome these difficulties we actually go ahead with adding of fluorosphar and cryolite well for this particular question what you are actually saying the metal that can be purified 
economically by fractional distillation method. Fractional distillation method. Uh, Smriti, Abhi, I actually discussed each and everything regarding the previous question. So you can just uh, rewind it and watch it. What did I say? Fine. So the metal that can be purified economically by fractional distillation method is which particular metal? So you all are actually saying it's zinc metal. Okay, fine. Absolutely fine. See, for iron, Sabko pata, it's a very famous process. Blast furnace ke andar, we actually go ahead with this. For nickel, it's the Monge process we talk about. For if I just talk about uh, copper, uh, have you heard about that? Um, if I just talk about this copper lead, uh, not polling process, yes. <laughs> no, it's not actually the thing, Swastika. What actually happens is there are few students. Uh, जो थोड़ा गड़बड़ा जाता है मैं पूरा कोशिश करती हूं समझाने की जिस समय समझाती हूं उस समय यू एक्चुअली डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड बट व्हेन आई मूव अहेड टू द अदर क्वेश्चन यू आस्क अबाउट द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन सो इट्स अ ट्रेंड यू हैव एक्चुअली मेड बट आई विल ब्रेक दिस ट्रेंड एंड आई वोंट बी रिपीटिंग इट अगेन सो जिस समय मैं जो समझा रही होती हूं प्लीज लिसन टू मी वेरी वेरी केयरफुली सो यस इट्स एक्चुअली द जिंक फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन के बारे में हम यहाँ बात कर रहे हैं सो सिंस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन एब्सोल्यूटली राइट ये सी फॉर द मेटल्स विच हैव लो बॉइलिंग पॉइंट लाइक जिंक कैडमियम एंड मर्करी फाइन वी गो अहेड विद दिस फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन ओके वेर इन इम्प्योरिटीज आर गोना बी हैविंग द हाई बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ओके Fine. So for metals which have low boiling point like zinc, cadmium and mercury, so the metals are going to have a low boiling point and the impurities are going to have the high boiling point. So if I just talk about the fractional distillation basically, fine. So they are used to separate the two liquids having difference in their boiling points. So fractional distillation say what we are going to talk about, we, uh, there will be separation of two liquids which are actually having difference in their boiling point fine so boiling point difference between the metal and that of the impurity impurities boiling point is higher and the metal boiling point is are lower so for zinc cadmium and mercury wo, we actually go by this particular fractional distillation method fine that's absolutely fine so crude zinc if i just talk about it actually contains cadmium iron and lead as impurities fine so it can be easily then refined by fractional distillation method clear done 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 so for i'll say that a b and c they are out of the race and it's the d the right answer for the question asked for done 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 shall i move ahead now han ji so manish ne bilkul sahi answer bola pawan ne bhi actual mein sahi answer bola ankit absolutely right akash obviously the right answer okay fine <laughs> thank you so much andan kumar well i suggest you that please subscribe the channel so that you can actually get the notifications of the classes that are going to happen on this particular platform okay it's not necessary that every day i am going to come at 5 pm over here there will be certain other classes which i am going to take uh, at 12 o'clock also at 3 p.m. also so just go ahead with the subscription of this particular channel and here and we are going to talk about the next question in front of you okay question ki length deke ghabrayega mat okay just don't get feared fears by just seeing the length of the question okay so over here consider two chemical reaction consider two chemical reactions a and b that take place during metallurgical process well you know what by just seeing the question you might get fierce but but if you just read the question it's very very simple the 10th grade question i mean to say the question which you have already studied in your 10th class and each and every one is giving me the right answer a is calcination and b is roasting because see it's the zinc carbonate for the carbonates okay if we are heating in the absence of air we are going to get zinc oxide and carbon dioxide and for the sulfides as i told you previously in the previous question we discussed earlier hair only fine yes i know halwa hai fine <laughs> yeah these are the free bees you are actually going to get okay hi aditi how are you so yes over here it's the zinc sulfide being heated in 
what the presence of air excess supply of the air and we are going to get the corresponding oxide and sulfur dioxide so if i just want to talk about a's calcination and b's roasting not not to discuss anything about this particular question it's very easy peasy lemon squeezy question moving ahead and let's talk about the next question in our row so over here the question is in front of you sulfide iron is a soft base okay ma'am and its ore are common for which of the following metals sulfide iron if i just talk about it's a soft base and its ores are common for which of the following metals very easy question you need to choose the correct answer from the options given below just let me know the right answer yes obviously pv ke sath to hota hi hai aur kiske sath hota hai just let me know han ji so you all are saying it's a and c absolutely right akash akash ke abhi tak ke sare answers sare jawab bilkul sahi hain You are actually pro in metallurgy, and I believe that you are pro in whole of the chemistry. Scoring good score. Yes. So over here, sulfide iron is a soft base. It has more tendency to make salts with soft acids. Okay. So if I just talk about Pb, Pb two positive. Okay. If I just talk about Pb two positive and Ag positives. Okay. These are what? These are soft acids. These are what? These are soft acids. Okay, fine. Al three positive, Al three positive, and Mg two positive. If I just talk about, they are hard acids. They are hard acids, dear ones. Fine. So Pb and Ag commonly actually exist in the form of sulfide ores like PbS and PbS. is galena and ag2s is argentite. So aluminium is mainly found. If I just talk about aluminium, it is mainly found. Uh, in the form of the oxide ore whereas magnesium is found in the form of halide ores okay aisa hai kya metallurgy ke bahar bhar bhar ke questions aane chahiye han ji aane chahiye fir kya hoga obviously you are going to get into one of the iits good one but aisa nahi hone wala hai i mean to say bhar bhar ke questions to nahi aayenge ek ya do hi questions aayenge okay fine चलिए लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन चलिए सो ओवर हेयर इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर डी द राइट आंसर मूविंग अहेड एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी सिंपल इजी पीजी लेमन स्क्वीजी क्वेश्चन कैलेमाइन एंड मेलाकाइट रिस्पेक्टिवली आर द ओर्स ऑफ व्हाट इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट कैलेमाइन अभी डिस्कस किया था मेलाकाइट अभी प्रीवियसली एक क्वेश्चन में आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द फॉर्मूलाज ऑल्सो सो जिंक एंड कॉपर एब्सोल्युटली राइट आकाश Yes, <laughs> बिल्कुल चलिए चलिए सो ओवर इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर सी द राइट आंसर बिकॉज इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ कैलेमाइन इट्स एक्चुअली जेड एन सी ओ थ्री एंड इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मेलाकाइट इट्स बेसिकली सी यू सी ओ थ्री डॉट सी यू ओ एच होल ट्वाइस द ऑर ऑफ कॉपर सो ओवर हेड इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट जिंक इन कॉपर ऑब्वियसली they are the ores of zinc and copper calamine and malachite each and every one have given the right answer why vincent is saying it's a it's absolutely wrong it's only option number c the right answer okay laddu question freebies akash yes bilkul sahi hyper gaming bilkul sahi okay chaliye let's move ahead and let's talk about the next question the purest form of commercial iron is purest form kya hai commercial iron ka What's the purest form of commercial iron? So, is it the scrap iron, the pig iron, is it the cast iron, or the wrought iron, or again, it's the pig iron given to us initially? So, Akash is absolutely right. It's the wrought iron, the purest form of the commercial iron. See, if I just talk about the iron, and you know that we obtain the iron from the blast furnace, fine. so the iron which we actually obtain from the blast furnace is known to be as pig iron remember this particular thing iron obtained from the blast furnace is known to be as pig iron which actually consist of 93% of the iron and 5% of the carbon fine now this pig iron do not have it it actually do not have no industrial use as it's very very brittle now what we actually go ahead with this see now melting of metal it actually occurs at about 1200 to 1500 degree celsius han ji mr computer jan uh it's the thing i am actually going to talk about the question yes it's a commercial use fine 
अच्छा ओके चलिए हेयर एंड वील भी फोकसिंग सो मेल्टिंग ऑफ मेटल्स अकर्स एट अबाउट ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड टू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस एज एंड इट इज एक्चुअली कलेक्टेड एट द हार्थ ऑफ द हर्थ ऑफ द फर्नेस बेसिकली सो पिग आयरन इज एक्चुअली कन्वर्टेड टू कास्ट आयरन बाय रीमेल्टिंग इट पिग आयरन इज बीन कन्वर्टेड इन टू कास्ट आयरन we actually melt it, remelt it, fine. Okay. Now if I just talk about the cast iron, it actually have two, two point five to five percent of the carbon in it. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Well, if I just talk about the wrought iron now, wrought iron is the purest form of the iron wherein the carbon percentage is zero point two percent only. Okay. In the wrought iron, the percentage of the carbon present is zero point two percent only. Fine. Okay. So if I just talk about the wrought iron, I'll say it's highly malleable and tough. It's actually obtained by oxidizing the impurities of the cast iron. Yes, Arun Chahan. Bilkul, bilkul, bilkul. So uh, the major form of the iron, jo hai, it's the wrought iron basically. So chaliye, let's move ahead and let's talk about the next question here in front of you. The process of calcination and roasting in metallurgy industry. respectively can lead to okay just let me know which form of iron has major application fine Uh, जैसा कि मैंने बोला था माही अबाउट द सेम थिंग कि अगर मैं पिग आयरन की बात करती हूँ तो इट डू नॉट हैव एनी इंडस्ट्रियल यूज इट्स वेरी ब्रिटल सो इट्स द रॉट आयरन विच वी बेसिकली यूज फाइन वेल अगर मैं कास्ट आयरन की भी बात करती हूँ वेर इन वी फाइंड द कार्बन परसेंटेज वेरिंग बिटवीन टू पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव परसेंट तो कास्ट आयरन में भी दो तरह के वी हैव कैटेगरीज इट्स द वाइट कास्ट आयरन एंड द ग्रे कास्ट आयरन व्हाइट का व्हाइट कास्ट आयरन की अगर मैं बात करती हूँ तो कार्बन इज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एफ ई थ्री सी व्हाइट फ्लेक्स के रूप में प्रेजेंट होता है एंड इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट द ग्रे कास्ट आयरन कार्बन इज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द ग्रे फाइट ठीक है फाइन वेल रॉट आयरन जो है इट्स एक्चुअली हाईली मेलेबिन एंड टफ सो वी विल गो विद दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग सो अरुण ने इस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन का आंसर दिया है ऑप्शन डी ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एंड एसिड रेन बिल्कुल सही बात बोला है ठीक है तो यहाँ पर अगर हम बात करें इस क्वेश्चन के बारे में तो अगर मैं कैल्सिनेशन के बारे में बात करती हूँ वेर इन वी डू हैव मेटल कार्बोनेट वी डू हैव व्हाट मेटल कार्बोनेट ओके मेटल कार्बोनेट हीटेड इन द प्रेजेंस हीटेड इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ एयर एंड वी गेट मेटल ऑक्साइड हमें क्या मिलता है वी एक्चुअली गेट मेटल ऑक्साइड प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड नॉट द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इट एक्चुअली कॉजेज द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग fine wherein if i just talk about the roasting thing wherein the metal sulfide metal sulfide is actually heated in the presence of excess of air and we get metal oxide we get metal oxide plus sulfur dioxide and the sulfur dioxide is actually the cause of acid rain the cause of acid rain basically so it's global warming and acid rain it's basically global warming and acid rain is the thing clear is the thing clear okay is the thing clear chaliye bataye yes let me know okay hyper gaming wood steel kya hota hai see i just know about wood steel one thing that it's actually the first high quality steel made anywhere in the world fine okay so this is what i want to talk about and i have never heard such a question of wood steel in j main so uh, i i don't think that it's gonna come fine okay fine चलिए 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 लेट्स मूव अहेड एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सम अनदर क्वेश्चन एंड हेयर वी आर या विवेक आई एम मूविंग हेयर ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो स्वास्थ्य का द थिंग इज बिंग क्लियर टू यू एंड आई मूव अहेड विद द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन एंड हेयर इट इज 
या मिस्टर अरुण चौहान द क्वेश्चन इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू अमंग द रिएक्शन ए टू डी द रिएक्शन दैट डज और यू कैन से डू नॉट अकर इन द ब्लास्ट फर्नेस ड्यूरिंग द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ आयरन सो ड्यूरिंग द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ आयरन ड्यूरिंग द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ आयरन इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट ड्यूरिंग द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ आयरन सो विच पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस डू नॉट अकर इन द ब्लास्ट फर्नेस ड्यूरिंग द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ आयरन मनीष सेड इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर ए सी एंड डी दे डू नॉट अकर आकाश हेज ऑल्सो सेट द सेम थिंग इट्स ओनली ऑप्शन नंबर ए अरुण प्लीज क्वेश्चन को ध्यान से पढ़िए अरुण क्वेश्चन को प्लीज आप ध्यान से पढ़िए वी आर एक्चुअली आस्किंग विच डू नॉट अकर जो अकर नहीं हो रहा है सो वॉट इट विल बी सो वॉट इट विल बी येस सी क्या होता है इन द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ आयरन लेट मी टेल यू इन द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ आयरन फ्रॉम इट्स ऑक्साइड ओर वॉट हैपन्स दैट हॉट एयर इज एक्चुअली ब्लोन फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ द ब्लास्ट फर्नेस सो दैट द कोक इज बंट टू गिव द हाई टेम्परेचर फॉर अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड केल्विन एट द लोअर पोर्शन ऑफ द फर्नेस ओनली फाइन नाउ वट हैपन्स दैट द कार्बन मोनऑक्साइड एंड द हीट इट इट बेसिकली मूव्स टू द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द फर्नेस फाइन the temperature if i talk about in the lower uh, the temperature uh, is actually lower in the upper part of the furnace temperature is higher in the lower part and temperature is lower in the upper part of the furnace where iron oxide it actually get reduced iron oxide jo hota hai wo reduce ho jata hai at different temperatures so if i just talk about at 500 to 800 kelvin if i just talk about at 500 to 800 kelvin so iron oxide it actually get reduced only by carbon monoxide so at this particular temperature our iron oxide get reduced by carbon monoxide talking about the reactions so it's fe2o3 plus carbon monoxide which actually gives us fe3o4 plus carbon dioxide Done, 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 done. Yes. Moreover, it's Fe3O4 balancing. आप कर लीजिएगा. Plus CO, which basically then gives us thrice of Fe. Okay. Plus carbon dioxide. मैं balancing भी कर देती हूँ. Wait a minute. It will be thrice of Fe2O3 plus CO to give us twice of Fe3O4 plus CO2. Then it's Fe3O4 plus four times of the CO to give us thrice of Fe plus four times of CO2. That's absolutely fine, and also it's Fe two O three plus CO giving us twice of Fe O plus CO two. So this is actually happening at a temperature five hundred to eight hundred Kelvin, where only carbon monoxide they actually are going to reduce. That means iron oxide is getting reduced only by carbon monoxide. Fine. Well, if I just talk about the temperatures at nine hundred. To fifteen hundred Kelvin, ठीक है? Nine hundred से fifteen hundred Kelvin के अगर मैं बात करती हूँ, इस particular temperatures में, इस particular temperature range में, it's the iron oxide that is reduced by both carbon and carbon monoxide. Fine. So over here it's carbon plus carbon dioxide, which basically gives us twice of CO. पहली चीज़ ये ध्यान रखिएगा. Then it's FeO plus CO, which gives us Fe. प्लस ट्वाइस ऑफ सी ओ एफ ई प्लस ट्वाइस ऑफ सी ओ ये भी ध्यान रखिएगा ओके नाउ लाइम स्टोन इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट विच इज गोइंग टू बी यूज एज अ बेसिक फ्लक्स बेसिक फ्लक्स सो लाइम स्टोन इज एडेड टू द फर्नेस वाई इन ऑर्डर टू रिमूव द एसिडिक इम्प्योरिटी विच इज एस आई ओ टू इट्स द मेन इम्प्योरिटी द एसिडिक इम्प्योरिटी सो फॉर रिमूवल ऑफ एसिडिक इम्प्योरिटी वी एक्चुअली टेक वॉट द बेसिक फ्लक्स This acidic impurity SiO2 is non-fusible. So when it adds with the basic flux, we actually get a fusible mass known to be as slag. So over here it's CaCO3. Fine. It decomposed into CaO plus CO2, and this CaO then reacts with SiO2, the acidic impurity. This is the acidic impurity. 
this is the acidic impurity we do have majorly present over here and there is the formation of a fusible mass calcium silicate which is known to be as a slag the things have been i think got into your mind yes absolutely right हाँ जी बिल्कुल सही बात है यस एब्सोल्युटली राइट लाइमस्टोन यानी कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट वो डिकम्पोज होगा कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड में कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड रिएक्ट करेगा एस आई ओ टू के साथ में एंड वी आर गोइंग टू गेट सी एस आई ओ थ्री अ फ्यूजिबल मास ओके अ फ्यूजिबल मास नोन टू बी एज स्लैग यस एब्सोल्युटली राइट स्वास्थ्य का बिल्कुल सही कह रही है यस yes. ठीक है क्लियर है डन दन आर एन डन तो इस हिसाब से देखा जाए दो रिएक्शंस जो हैं वो ब्लास्ट फर्नेस में नहीं होंगी वो है सी एंड डी उस हिसाब से देखा जाए तो ऑप्शन नंबर ए द राइट आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन आस फॉर हाँ जी मिस्टर अरुण मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि आपको कहीं भागना है यू आर इन अ वेरी हरी इट्स अ मेटेलर्जी चैप्टर जर्नल प्रिंसिपल्स इन आइसोलेशन ऑफ द मेटल्स बेसिकली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट So, यहाँ पर लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दी नेक्स्ट एंड दी लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द सेशन इन द लीचिंग ऑफ एलुमिना फ्रॉम बॉक्साइड द ओवर एक्सपेक्टेड टू लीच आउट इन द प्रोसेस बाय रिएक्टिंग विद एन ए ओ एच इज वॉट हाँ जी इसका क्या आंसर बताएंगे आप मुझे वॉट इज द आंसर यू आर गोइंग टू टेल मी हाँ जी इतनी जल्दी लास्ट हो गया अब क्या करें Yes, of course. We over here have actually brought to you twelve important expected questions. ठीक है? Yes. तो यहाँ पर आप देख लीजिए क्या आपका इसका आंसर होना चाहिए. What will be your answer for this particular question? Well, if I just talk about leaching process, it's a chemical method wherein there is the concentration of the bauxite or Al two O three dot two H two O. So leaching is basically what it's actually the loss or you can say the extraction of certain materials. ओके फ्रॉम अ कैरियर इनटू अ लिक्विड अब ये जो लिक्विड की मैं जो यहाँ बात कर रही हूँ लिक्विड की मैं जो यहाँ बात कर रही हूँ usually लिक्विड uh, होगा बट नॉट ऑलवेज अ सॉल्वेंट हलवा था एब्सोल्यूटली मनीष बिल्कुल सही बात कह रहे हैं हलवा ही था तो ऐसा ही ओ टू है यहां पर इन द लीचिंग ऑफ एलुमिना फ्रॉम बॉक्साइड द ओवर एक्सपेक्टेड टू लीच आउट इन द प्रोसेस बाय रिएक्टिंग विद एन एच एस एस आई ओ टू यही होगा सो so, यहां पर लेट मी एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन दिस लेट मी एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन दिस ओके बॉक्साइड जो है ए एल टू ओ थ्री डॉट ट्वाइस ऑफ एच टू हो ओके इट एक्चुअली कंटेन्स इम्प्योरिटीज लाइक एस आई ओ टू फेरिक ऑक्साइड लाइक एफ ई टू ओ थ्री टी आई ओ टू लाइक टाइटेनियम ऑक्साइड सो बॉक्साइड इज बेसिकली पाउडर्ड एंड इट्स डाइजेस्टेड विद कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एन ओ एच के साथ में हम उसका रिएक्शन कराते हैं टेम्परेचर होता है नियर अबाउट फोर सेवेंटी थ्री टू फाइव ट्वेंटी थ्री कैलवेन ठीक है प्रेशर होता है थर्टी फाइव टू थर्टी सिक्स बार प्रेशर एब्सोल्यूटली राइट ये सो ए एल टू ओ थ्री जो है इट इज एक्चुअली गोइंग टू डिजोल्व इन एन ओ एच एंड इट इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म सोडियम सोडियम एल्यूमिनेट सो यहाँ देखिए इट्स ए एल टू ओ थ्री प्लस ट्वाइस ऑफ एन ए ओ एच ओके वी डू हैव वॉटर ऑल्सो एंड हेंस देर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सोडियम एल्यूमिनेट ट्वाइस ऑफ एन ए एंड इट्स ए एल ओ एच फोर आर यू गेटिंग द थिंग्स ये मैम सो सोल्यूशन ऑफ नाउ द सोडियम एल्यूमिनेट इज न्यूट्रलाइज हाउ इट्स बी न्यूट्रलाइज बाय पासिंग कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बाय पासिंग कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस ओके एंड द सोल्यूशन इज देन सीडेड विद वॉट Freshly prepared hydrated Al two O three, which induces the precipitation. Then what is happening? It is then filtered, dried, and heated in order to get Al two O three. That's absolutely right. Okay. So sodium silicate basically remains in the solution. If I just talk about sodium silicate, SiO two is one of the impurity. Okay. Fine. Okay. So over here. It's twice of any AlOH4, so it's been neutralized by passing carbon dioxide. And what we get, it's Al2O3 dot twice of H2O plus sodium bicarbonate NaHCO3. Now this Al2O3 the twice of H2O, it's been heated at 1470 Kelvin, and we get our pure alumina Al2O3 plus thrice of H2O. So along with Al2O3, SiO2 actually dissolves, forming Na2SiO3. So in bauxite, what we actually see Fe2O3, TiO2, and SiO2. These are the impurities present. Fe2O3 and TiO2. 
Fe2O3 and TiO2, these are the basic oxides. So they are not going to react or dissolve in the base NaOH, concentrated base, fine. Whereas SiO2 is the acidic impurity, acidic oxide. So it get dissolved in the base NaOH and hence it leached out. It's been leached out. Fine. So what we are going to get Na2SiO3 which remains sodium silicate, it remains in the solution. I hope the whole process of this leaching has been clear to you and based on that everyone said since you all are prone in this particular chapter. So it's SiO2 the right answer. Okay. So my dear ones, this was all from my side for this particular session. And uh, Ellingham diagrams ke questions, yeah, we haven't actually taken. Since uh, in JE mains, what we have seen, bohut kam questions Ellingham diagrams se aate hain. Main ye nahi kahungi, nahi aayenge. Aayenge, obviously, they can come in the coming examinations. But abhi tak dekha gaya hai, there are very few questions. So, main yahaan par leke aai thi top 12 most expected questions. Fine. So, I have actually discussed all the things over here. So, my dear ones, what now I want to ask you? Ab main aapse kya puchna chahati hoon? I just want to rest my case over here. And yes, again I just want to say and ask you, have you actually checked out the live classes yet? Fine. So, basically if I just talk about the live classes, uh, I, I just want to take on the... Akash app which I discussed earlier initially in the class in the beginning of the class see what happens they run um, with a dual teacher model so basically what happens is that you get to learn from a live faculty plus you also get to see the quality videos of the star educators like NV sir Shishir Mittal sir GB sir Apur Mathur sir etc so I just want to uh, say you that please book a free trial, trial today only using our app. Don't miss that particular thing. The link has been given in the description box. So make sure that you actually download the Akash app for J examinations to experience the best way of your learning and to ace your J examinations. You need to outsmart the other ones, no? Your competitors. So you need to go ahead with this particular thing. Fine. So dear ones, the next session today will be of mathematics the percentile booster and uh, herein the timings are 6 30 pm well thank you so much for your cooperations thank you so much for joining me we'll be meeting you tomorrow sharply at 12 pm with one short series of electrochemistry don't miss that particular session i'll be there sharply at 12 pm tomorrow with one short series of electrochemistry join that particular session that is gonna be the important session for all of you guys bye bye dear ones take care